I've been waiting for the perfect time to use this weapon, and I think that time is now. And that weapon is the chainsaw. This came out a little bit ago, actually in MW2. This is from the Doom Bundle, and I'm pretty sure the original weapon is the pickaxe. I wouldn't know because I haven't used the original weapon. I've only used this blueprint, but I can't think of a more better weapon to use in zombies. But from using some of the melee weapons, they are pretty decent. They've done pretty well. I think like the, the Tomfas are one of the best weapons in the game. So I'm hoping this can stay up to par with some of these. And while we're using it, I'm going to be trying to get this golden ivory. And we just need to get 250 kills with it in Xfil, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But I also want to try to get this all the way up to pack a punch three and take on a mega abomination with it. So to get us started, I brought in a level two pack a punch crystal, an epic aether tool, and some perks. But we're going to need 15k if we want to get pack a punch three, so we got to get to work. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're chilling. We're fine. That was so close to death, though. But I wish there was an inspect on this. I know they don't do it because it has, like, the, its whole own animation with, like, the low FPS thing to mimic Doom. But it's such a cool-looking model. I wish I could see the Pack-A-Punch camo on it better. But if we want to get any money in this camo done, we have to find a nice contract. And there's an Outlast all the way over here. So hopefully we can get there before somebody snags it. Actually, is there any Spore contracts that are closer? Oh, yeah, we can do a Tier 2 Spore. We'll try that out. Give me that. And let's get to grinding. I'm taking all these with me because other people don't know how to behave. No one's got manners. They just like to come up and take all my zombie kills or end my contract for me. Oh, what's this do against a mangler? Oh, that's not looking too good for us fighting a mega abomination later. That took way too many hits for comfort. And actually, we might be in the perfect spot to set up here because we do need 15k to get up to pack a punch three but also we're probably gonna need a few self revives i'm not gonna lie so we can just sit here and farm money right by the shop and buy a few self revives and we're gonna need them okay this is actually getting very dangerous and i'm starting to get a little scared to use this weapon these zombies are kind of messing me up i'm having to use all my decoys here just to survive we're not even near having enough money to get a self revive i should have done this in a tier one zone no, 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 no. I refuse to go down. Okay, let me buy a self-revive back before I die here. And we're back down to no money. These zombies got us in a pyramid scheme. How do we not have the camo yet? Just show it to me. Give it here. Something's fucked up here. I feel like I have 500 kills with this thing and we still don't have our camo. All we need is like 250. Oh, there it is. See, if you bitch about it enough, it'll show up. I will be ending this contract, though, because I am scared. We've been getting our ass kicked over here this whole time. These zombies do not fuck around. I have no idea how we're going to make this work in the tier three zone, but we'll try. Will these be a self-revive in here? Thank God. Okay, so we have a total of two self-revives, which I do not think is going to be enough at all. We still need 5,000 more points if we want to get this to pack a bunch three. Let's start up a bounty contract. Give this a real test. Oh, where's the bastard at? Oh, this is him. Oh, wait, no. An imposter. You're not the mangler I'm looking for. You know what? Maybe I, I should throw fire damage on this. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. Let's see what this does. Oh, not a whole lot. Oh, wait. There we go. We did a little bit. Let's not let him take us down. We already don't have a whole lot of self-revives to work with. Oh, his arm got cut off, though. There you go. And we get another napalm burst back. Beautiful. Holy shit. So this thing can definitely like do some damage, at least a little bit of it, but does not swing fast enough to be able to save you. Really got to time all your hits. But that did give us enough to get pack a punch three. Where's the machine at? Oh, of course, it's all the way over here. We need to be fast if we want to take on this mega abomination because the storm is going to start from the tier three zone this game. So another test. Let's see if we can outspeed any of the zombies here with this out. Most of the time, melee weapons are the fastest, but this hellhound's already on my ass. These other zombies are getting cooked, though. I don't think any of them are super sprinters. That hell on just knocked me into this building. Holy shit. 100 IQ play. All right, give me pack three. Beautiful. Fully pack a bunch of chainsaw. Oh, and here's a tier three disciple. Can we take him out? Maybe. Perhaps. Oh, yeah. Before it could even take any health from us. That's not bad. As long as I'm not getting swarmed, this does pretty good. So decoys are going to be a must. We also need to find a mega abomination to take out. Oh, one spawned. Sweet. Let's throw a decoy over here. Let's have a stern talking due to this guy. I'm doing zero damage. I'm getting flung all around. He's stunning me the second he hits me every time. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Ooh, stay back. I'm gonna need to nade these zombies. I didn't kill any of them. Come on. Some of you guys need to drop me some armor. 
This is doing literally zero damage to him. And it did like the smallest chunk. It's like uh, if you were to stub his toe. Can I can't cut his face open. Oh, I think I did. Did I? Oh, nope. That was just normal blood. Hold on, sir. I'll be right back. I need to get some more decoys. Ooh, I almost just took myself out right there. Gotta remember that I don't have PhD. This isn't Cold War stamina up. I'll still take fall damage. How'd he get on the roof? What are you doing up there? And we're down. Nice. Got stunned in the laser after getting smacked around by a, a mangler. We got one more self revive left. Why are you walking on the air? Okay, there you go. Come back down. Back down to earth. Oh, he's yelling. Can we cut one of his mouths? I don't even think we can reach. He's too tall. Please don't down me again with the laser. I'm going to hide behind this bench. Beautiful. It worked for a second. Let's nade all of these zombies. Oh, and an insta-kill. Perfect. It actually helps out a ton. Can we do any damage to him now? A little bit. The slightest amount. Oh, and we're down again. Jeez. All right. You might have to chalk this one up to a loss. If I can find any self revives before this game is over, maybe we'll come back. We're just getting absolutely cooked. I gotta fly the fuck out of here. Look at this mimic just chilling out here. Oh, he caught me looking at his ass. See ya, pal. All right, now let's make like a tree and get out of here. I think an exfil's already coming in. Let's see if we can make it. Maybe I can land in and as it's landing. Oh, landception. Let's go! Sorry, boys. This is my ride. Does this cat have the Wonder Waff? That's hilarious. I love these goofy ass skins. I'm just gonna rev this up in his ear. It's like I'm purring at him. We got out of there with a few perks, some ammo mods, and our lives. Just barely. I had almost a thousand kills with it. Yeah, I was not wrong for thinking that I should have had that camo earlier because there's no way I got like that many kills after getting the camo. That's ridiculous. But did we get gold or did we get screwed on that? Oh no, we got it. Let's go. Oh, wait. I can get Spinal Husk on this. I forgot that we did the other MW2 melee weapons. Hold on, let me go grab that real quick because that's going to look sick on this. All right, let's try to knock this out. I brought in a crystal to speed up the process. Starting to run low on those. I can craft them, but I always forget to craft them before like I, I hop off for the day and have them stowed away. Bars. We just need to get 300 kills while it's pack a punch, and we're good to go. And I started up another spore contract here so that we can get our spawns a little faster. Oh, it's so much easier to get kills in the tier one zone. These zombies are way too slow and way too dumb to fuck me up. Not saying it's impossible, though. I am me after all. Oh, great. Another helpful Harry over here. Coming in to steal my kills and possibly end my contract. Yup, there goes a the spore. Fuck you. You know what? I'm not gonna give you the pleasure. No spawns for you. If I'm not getting any, you're not getting any. Fuck yourself. Now let's find another one. Away from uh, bastards. Now let's see if these jackasses leave me alone. Oh, is the other spore up there? What was that? A fucking phantom just took off. Was that somebody's parachute? Oh, there's mercs up there. Why are they parachuting? Hold on. I'm not even going to deal with them. I'm going to mortar strike them. And hopefully that don't destroy my spore. Are they all dead up there yet? I'm going to take matters into my own hands. What's up, bitches? Oh, there's a lot of you, actually. And you're tanking a chainsaw! A Pack-a-Punch chainsaw! I might ha I might add, and I almost just killed myself right there. Bro, I can't catch a break. I didn't realize the other spore was up there. Otherwise, I, I would have kept the other one down here. Because if I want to get my spawns, I need to go toss this machine up there on that spore. Maybe I can do it real quick and just hop back down and they'll leave me alone. Okay, nothing to see here. Just walking through. Mind my own business here. Oh, don't look at that. And I didn't throw it in the right spot. Fuck. All right, one more time. There we go. Perfect. Don't destroy that. Leave it alone. Now we're getting our spawns. And I don't think they're going to follow us down here. At least I hope not. But you bitch made to come down here and fight me. The fuck was that? There's some spooky shit happening over here. Oh, there's our spinal husk. Don't matter. I'm ending this contract. I'm going to run a quick little cargo mission. See if I can't get anything good to get out of here with. And then we'll exfil and check out our camos. All right, I got all I can get. Let's get out of here. We got a few perks, an ethereum crystal, 405 kills, and our spinal husk camo. This is what the chainsaw looks like in game with gold and ivory on it. Eh, it's not too bad. But once you start getting kills with it, you're going to get that 8-bit blood on there. And I don't think it's going to match very well. And this is what the chainsaw looks like with spinal husk on it. And it looks sick.
This is just the, the perfect pairing of camo and weapon. It already looks like it's covered in the blood. The secondary color looks great as the chain on it. Just a really fun looking weapon, even if it's not the greatest. But that's about it. I was just hanging on to this bundle for a bit, looking for the perfect time to use it. And we went ahead and got its spinal husk as well. And there's also a shotgun that came with this bundle, the super shotgun that actually came with its own attachment or they made an attachment for it, which shoots both shells at once. So I think I'll be trying that one out soon as well. But we'll get to that another day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later